This is going to be an epic card. Hello, sports fans. As I know, I'm back with another card opening video for your entertainment. And I'm really excited about this one today. We've got a face off between two Topps Heritage Blasters and one Topps Heritage Mega Box. And this is going to be epic. We're going to see what we can find from these two. The price point is approximately the same if you buy two blasters or one Mega Box. So this should be a very fun opening. Not only because this product is still quite new and we're still discovering all kinds of interesting things about it, but also because we want to know if you encounter both at Walmart or at Target or whatever, which one should you buy? Now you may be asking yourself, why are there a couple of cards from the previous video up on the stage already? And why is there also a random pack right there? Well, I will tell you why. Because the Admiral Uribe card there on the left is being, well, the there's no sold ones, but the asking price is between four and $500 on eBay. And I didn't catch it. I thought it was a, just a white border card of a player that had been traded. And I thought it was a little odd that he was in a Brewers uniform, but I wasn't thinking about the fact that it is in fact an error card. They're extremely rare. So I wanted to highlight that once again. Why is Jason Dominguez on there? And why is there a pack sitting here randomly? Well, those, Dear Watcher, questions will be answered at the very end of this video. So make sure to smash that like button. And it looks like we might have a relic here toward the back of this particular pile. So let's look at blaster number one. And we're going to keep... Oh, interesting. There is the Abner Uribe non-error. He's not on the White Sox. He's on the Brewers. And Abner Uribe is doing pretty well right now. If you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button for me, I would greatly appreciate it as it does very much help the channel to grow. There's a Julio that feels weird, but I think it's just a normal card. Kowser is starting to do quite well. We've got a backwards card, which is going to be a short print. That is a Lorenzen, Michael Lorenzen. I actually pulled his auto, there's a Henry Davis, auto parallel rookie card out of a Topps Firebox. And I haven't posted that yet, but Lorenzen, he's underrated. And that is an amazing autograph. It is, in fact, a fire autograph. All right, well, there's my boy Nolan from the Rockies, friend of the channel. We'll have him take us out at the very end, so stick around for that. There's a Wayne Thomas short print. And I don't even know what I did with the short print that we already pulled. Whoa! <laughs> There's a white border card. Let's go. You can barely see it right above the 249. It says white border. See, that's what I thought this card was at first. But it turned out that the Uribe was even more special than that. There's a trout. We're going to keep everything from these two blasters on the right side. There's an Encarnacion strand. And we have a Clubhouse Collection card. Now, I have never in my card collecting career pulled a, a Relic Auto, so that would be a first. This is going to be a Rocky. I'm guessing Chris Bryan is the only Rocky good enough to have his own, unless it's Jones. And it is Zeke. All right. Toby, as they call him. The Rockies themselves call him that. I know that because I got his autograph during spring training and they were like, hey, Toby, you want to go get some lunch? All right, very cool. A little interesting piece right there. I don't know if that's a, a piece of white from the cardboard of the card or if they inadvertently gave me just a very small bit of a patch. Okay, cool. All right, so first blaster is down. We're going to now switch over to the Mega Box and see what we pull out of here, and then we will flip back over to the blaster. Now, if you're enjoying this video so far and you haven't subscribed yet, I would highly suggest and request that you do that so you don't miss anything from No My Loves Ya. So you're gonna see about the same number of packs between two blasters versus a Mega, and the Mega box is going to have, it says it on the side, 135 total cards, 15 packs, nine cards per pack. So we'll have to figure out when we open up. Doesn't say it on the blaster. I didn't think to count them, but we'll count them next time. 
And I know that I've been a little all over the place in this video. We have a family member in the hospital, unfortunately, and I am distracted. But I love ripping cards. I especially love ripping cards with you guys. So here we are. And to all of you new subscribers, of which we have quite a few, thank you so much for joining us. And for all of you returning nomads, thank you for that as well. And speaking of nomads, I have more to say about that in a second. Looks like we have a couple short prints in here. And this one is going to have, as you can see right there, the blue sparkles. And the blue sparkles may or may not have something to do with why we have this one pack still to open at the end. There we got another white border. So these used to be the 50, but they're a lot less rare this year. And another thing to note is that that's kind of a cool then and now Soto and Morgan. I guess we can put that in the orchestra. Another interesting thing to note, which I did not get right in the hobby box opening, because again, we've had someone in the hospital they didn't have a chance to look at it all. I want to talk about Declan Cronin in a second. Here's a Jordan Hicks short print. He's doing great right now for the Giants. But um, I didn't have it right because it's always been 400 and above. But this year it's 1 to 99 are the short prints. And they are backwards, so they're easy to find. We have a Ray. Is that Shane O'Mac? It is. So you're going to get these in the Mega box, but not in the blaster box. These blue sparkle, and you get three of them. And that one may or may not be, but definitely is, from another mega that I opened off camera. And there's my boy Casas. And it may or may not, but definitely does, have a sweet blue rookie card in it. So we're going to want to take a look at that. I'm trying to make sure that I don't miss anything, because sometimes the Special cards can kind of sneak up on you in this product. We've got another short print here. We've got a champion's card of Corbin. We've got a polar bear card. That's really cool, I like that. It's a Pete Alonzo and it says it on the back. So Pete Alonzo is my favorite player, even though he's on the Mets, not the Red Sox. So that is pretty cool. Got another short print. I think we're going to go ahead and just rip the entire Mega Box, and then we'll come back to the Blaster Box. There's a Julio insert. Now, again, just because I haven't had time to look up a lot about this product, which is unusual, usually I can, but just have been pressed for time due to family stuff. I don't rightly know how rare these cards are. I seem to recall that we got a similar one in the hobby box that we opened, so I'm thinking they're not that rare, but I'm not 100% positive. So I will find out, and in post-production, I will add in a little blurb about how rare that card is, how valuable that card is, etc. If it is extremely rare, then obviously I'll be pretty stoked. He's had a short print before in Top's flagship of a polar bear, but I don't own a copy of that card. I wish I did. If you have one and you want to trade it, or even sell it at a reasonable price, please let me know. All right, we're gonna break this in half just because that's a pretty large stack for me to try to get through. My hands are only so big. They are big, <laughs> but not that big. All right, Nolan Chanuel. He started his career with a huge hitting streak and did very well. All right, we have a turn back the clock, Anthony Rizzo. Now I believe that these are pretty rare. So that's very cool. Very cool. I'm excited about that card. I'm going to sleeve up that card. I think that that might put this over the top in favor of the Mega. Tops in 3D. Limited 1975 Tops in 3D. So you can get them in both. I better sleeve up that Polar Bear too, just because I like it, but also I'm not quite sure how valuable it is. And I think he's going to knock Andrew Abbott back and potentially completely off the stage. So we've gotten a white border on each side so far. Noelvi Marte, ooh, his life was going well until recently. There's another Zeke. I like Zeke. He's a very good signer. Nice kid. Very good defensively. I think the offense is going to come around. What do we have here? Eh, pretty meh as far as the blue foils go so far. 
Shana Mack and Brent Rooker. They were pretty mad in the other Mega that I opened, except for that pack. There's another Pete. We'll put that, whoops, we'll put those together. The Seth Lugo white border. Again, those white borders I know are still rare, but they're not number to 50 like they used to be. All right, let's see. Oh, we've got a second pile here. All right, so this is gonna be it for the Mega Box. The Mega Box I got for $55 at Walmart yesterday. There's a Kimbrel short print. Everson Pereira rookie. A couple of other cool cards. We have a Yankee coming up. And I think I saw an A. Pretty sure I saw an A. So I think I know who this is going to be. It's not a rookie, but it's a very desirable card. Let's go. There's the man. Off to a very, very good start. Looking like the heir apparent to Derek Jeter. Finally, the Yankees have an heir to Jeter. And that is definitely making this side lean more toward the winner, especially there's an Austin Wells rookie with that Anthony Rizzo. So even as a Red Sox fan, I'm loving pulling those cards. There's another Yankees card. I'm just a baseball fan in general. Like, you know, the rivalry is there for sure. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> this is going to be an epic card. The only question is, is it going to be the 999 or 275 or whatever? Let's go. This is a huge card. And I is, I don't know if you guys can see in the light. It's to three. 75. This is a monster. Monster. Monster card. Let's go. Mm. Evan Carter. Chrome Refractor rookie card. To 375. Feast your eyes on that. That is gorgeous. I don't see any way that the blaster box can top that. I don't see any way that it can. No way. No way. The Mega wins. The Mega wins. Is there even any point in opening this? Maybe I won't open it. I'm just kidding. I'm going to open it for you guys. We need to spend a little more time together. It's only been 12 minutes. And I know that a lot of you are gone by now. But I know that the true hardcore Noma Nation friends of the channel are still here. And I appreciate you guys very much. All right, so let's check out this blaster and see what we got. The only way that I can see that the blasters would dethrone the Mega would be potentially if we pulled a real one autograph. They're very tough to pull out of retail. However, not impossible. So let's see. Let's see. There's an there's a base Evan Carter. Just if you want to compare and contrast what they look like. Oh, that chrome is so so nice. Now he's off to a little bit of a little bit of a slow start. So might be a little while before he truly meets his potential. Actually, good time to buy the slump. Now that I think about it. Speaking of Evan Carter and Anthony Volpe. I have been fortunate enough to pull first Bowman autographs of both of those guys. And obviously those cards have both done quite well. And I forgot to count how many packs were in the blaster. I think you get slightly more in the mega. I think it's slightly more cards. If you've been paying more attention and doing the math, let me know. There's CES again, Strider. Oh, there's two Striders. Unfortunately with the Tommy John surgery out for the year. Brutal. Actually, I beg your pardon, I misspoke. He does not have Tommy John. He had the internal bracing procedure done. He does have a damaged UCL, but he did not have to have the replacement. Okay, we got a uh, Gunnar Henderson short print. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It's a cup card. Very sharp looking. I'm a big fan of the cup cards. They just look awesome. I've always loved them ever since I was a kid. And just a cool detail. Look how dirty his hat is. How hard do you have to play to get your hat that dirty? What a man. All right, we're kind of running out of stage. Uh, 
whatever they're called. You know what I'm trying to say, stands. All right, like I said, just combobulated from the personal situation. There's Jordan. There's another gunner. Jordan, unfortunately, is hurt. Did not make the D-backs out of spring training. And now dealing with injury. All right, there's another Henry Davis. So the Blasters like Henry Davis. I don't know if that's a distribution thing. They like Colton Cowser too. We didn't see either of those guys out of the Mega. So that's just kind of interesting. I feel like we saw Riley Green, too. There's a Jazz. Just an insert, not a gold. This is a short print. That's going to be a Mauricio Dubon. And again, unless we get a real one auto in these next few cards, I think this one is going to go to the Mega Box for sure. I've only opened two Mega Boxes, but I've been happy with both of them, and I love the Blue Sparkle cards. There is, however, another Chrome card coming up. That's a cool MVP card of Acuna and Shohei. So it's, I guess, theoretically possible that this could be such a great card that it it wins it. It is an Oriole. To this one is to 575. That's because this is based on the 1975 design. It's not going to be Holiday because he's not in here. So to 575, and it's Mount Castle. It's a pretty card. It's very nice, but it's not going to make a dent in the final outcome of this contest. So, unfortunately, not a very exciting beatdown because this is just so obviously better. Not even knowing how rare these two cards are, that is easily the best card that I've pulled. I've now opened a hobby box two Mega Boxes and two Blaster Boxes. One Mega was off camera. Easily, that's the best card I've gotten. So what does that mean? I don't know. I have heard some rumors, and my boy Josh at KC Card Connection has opened some absolute fire from the... That was a terrible reveal. I think you guys saw what this is. Absolute fire out of retail, including red autos, all kinds of crazy stuff. So... I'm kind of leaning toward the retail right now. I do have one more Topps Heritage Hobby Box, which my wife gave me for my birthday, and I will be opening that in a future video, but I wanted to get this showdown out of the way first. So I have not, as you saw, this, this pack was opened. Yesterday I saw the final card and I immediately wrapped it back up. I have not actually seen this card with my eyes, and I don't know what else is in here. Nothing too special, except there's Abner again. Now one of my favorite players, because that card is such a banger. But look at this. Now you know why I brought the purple refractor back. Boom. So sweet. It looks so good. I'm a fan of the Martian. I don't care that he's on the Yankees. I just love baseball, and I love the players. If the Yankees and Red Sox are playing, of course, I'm going to root for the Red Sox. But look at those two next to one another. Just fire. All right, so clearly the winner of this is the cards on the left side. The Mega Box wins. Let's do a quick review of the best cards out of the Mega Box. Obviously, Evan Carter is the best card. Uh, we don't really need the base Pete in this conversation. So what do we got? We got a couple good rookies. Abbott, he's killing it. If you need a starter in fantasy, grab Abbott. He's underrated. I would love to grab him. I don't have any room on my roster. Seth Lugo, white border. Again, the polar bear is not a card I've seen. I don't know how rare it is. It's, it's uh, numbered 75Z9. The Volpe is gorgeous. This I know is rare, but I don't know how rare. And this is just 375? Are you kidding me? Looks good too, it's really well centered. There's a little like something right there, but I think that was just on the penny sleeve. Oh, I wish you guys could see it in person, it looks so good. And then for the losing team, we did okay. I'm looking forward to getting Zeke to autograph that card because it's gonna look real good. And like I said, he's a good signer. It's going to look real good. So I'm going to say, just 
kind of thinking about how to order these. The Gunner Short Print is definitely a strong card. Just kind of interesting, apropos of nothing, we've got uh, some very strong Orioles on this side and very strong Yankees on this side. So I'm very happy with all of it. 55 bucks for the Mega, $25 each for the Blasters. So 55 versus 50. I do think you get a touch more cards in the Mega and the Mega guarantees you the three blue cards, but it's a 400 card set. So, you know, your odds of getting someone good are low. Although I happened to get a good player from the Yankees, not the Red Sox, but whatever, uh, in each box. So that's cool. So a couple Abners. He's right now serving as the interim closer for the Brewers with Devin Williams on the DL. And if you look up his minor league stats, they're rather eye-popping. Henry Davis, not doing that well, but he'll get better. Kowser's killing it. This Gunner is just, I love that card so much. First of all, the color scheme really works with the uniform. The dirt on the hat just kills me. Back in high school when I played ball, I thought that I had failed if I went home with a clean uni. Because it means I wasn't diving for balls at first base, which was my position. I wasn't sliding into the base when I was stealing bases, which I did. Or I wasn't going for extra bases and sliding in. I, I had to get dirty at some point. And I was basically the Framingham, Massachusetts, Babe Ruth League equivalent of Jose Canseco. Because I hit a lot of bombs. I stole a lot of bases and I struck out a ton. But that's neither here nor there. All right. Let's see. I was not a Wade Boggs. I was not a high average guy at all. That's a great card. All right, so I'm very happy with this opening. I feel like there were no losers here because we got some great cards. And then again, from previous openings, that's a great card, that's a great card, that's a great card. Keep your eye out when you see these white borders for these error cards. It does say it on the back, but it's hard to read. I'm enjoying this set, but you can barely see. I don't even know what it says. 47 years old, I can't read that. I think it says team error white. Oh, it says white border, but it's also the team error. So it doesn't even say error on there. Super weird, but it is an error card. Okay, well, at any rate, I hope that you guys have an awesome rest of your day. Keep that big smile on your face because baseball cards are awesome and Noma loves you. And I mentioned that Nolan Jones is a friend of the channel. So Nolan, what's on your mind, my friend? Hi, this is Nolan Jones from the Colorado Rockies. Noma loves you.